Yeah. Zoop. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're here in Richmond. We came down uh, on Black Friday, and we're here for beer. We're taking a beer journey. And right now, we're sitting outside the Vale, and... Um, the, the line for everybody on the west coast who wants to try the veil I'm gonna try to film this line. It's insanity. It goes all the way around the block. There must be how many people do you think are there? Like two, 200 people probably? And I think it might even be more than that. It might be like 250. It does a ton oh. of people. Hundreds of people yeah. camping out with chairs and everything like that. It's ridiculous. Um, but so we're here at the veil what is being released today that we are here for? A ton of stuff. A ton of stuff. Yeah, like it's a lot of cans and they're releasing like vintage beers and I think that's why most people are here is for like their uh, aged vintage beers that they're only releasing today and you'll never get ever again other than today. So yeah. I think that's what's creating also the hype. So there's like two, three hundred people in line. It goes all the way around the block. We're just sitting in the car right now waiting for them to open because we're not dealing with that. It's cold outside. It's the day after Thanksgiving. I don't really want to be outside Yeah. in the cold. I'm too old for this. But at the same time, you know you've got a great prospect wife when she's like, hey, we're going to Richmond and grabbing beer. <laughs> that's, the re that's the reason we're doing an overnight in Richmond. So while we're here, we're going to do the Vale. Um, we're going to... Um, what else Party we going to do? Party Wood. We'll do the answer. Well, that's more of a brew pub restaurant. And then we'll stop by Kindred Spirit and hopefully Triple Crossing. Yeah, we've got to go to Triple Crossing because we're here. So, yeah, big Richmond road trip for for beer. That's what we're doing. So we're going to take you along. This is going to kind of be kind of, a, I guess, a, like a vlog type thing. We've never really done a vlog type thing, but it's beer related. So I feel like it's appropriate, right, for the channel. All right, so here we are at the Vale, at the entrance to this event. Here's the can line, right here. Here's the drink line. It's getting crazy. So the line goes here. Let's go over this direction. Here's the entrance to the actual parking lot. See the line goes all the way down there. So this is why you can never get cans at the Vale. Because every person in this damn line wants cans from the Vale. And here we are. So I just got my hair cut. I left the veil because it was just taking far too long and I was really cold. I went back to the car. So yeah, I walked down the street and um, I went to this place called Action Cuts here in Richmond. Super nice chicks in this place. Kind of hot actually. Um, and they cut my hair really well. Look at this. I mean, I look pretty good. Not exactly what I would do with it, but uh, I can style it. And you know what? They cut it pretty pretty good so uh pretty happy with their place i recommend you check it out it's like a full-fledged barbershop they got popcorn they show movie trailers and stuff inside it's uh some of the uh, packages that they offer actually have like free beer included they do straight razor shaves not that i need that at the moment because of my face thing but so yeah action cuts right near the veil pretty great so now we're gonna go back to the veil and see where sandra is in line and hopefully she's moved up a little bit <sighs> still fucking cold and i still want to drink a beer so we're gonna go get that done. We gotta talk about the veil real fast. I don't like the veil anymore. It's too much shit you gotta go through to get some beers. So we were standing in line at this brewery for three hours in the bitter cold. There were 300 people in front of us and there we still probably had about an hour to an hour and a half to two hours left of that line to get to the front of the to line. get to the front to just get. to get cans yeah to go we weren't yeah. even drinking there yeah. it was just i want to buy these cans and i want to get back in my car and leave but no you can't just do that at the veil vale. and we know that we've been to other events at the veil vale, but this time a little bit different so they had they, basically the event was that they were releasing a bunch of beers like 25 beers or something 
Some crazy amount of different like aged beers and vintage like, beers. vintage stuff. And but everything was like dark, so it was like all imperial stouts and pretty much all imperial stouts, wild ales, like wintry kind of beers, yeah. right? You know, we'd move ten feet every forty-five minutes, hour. You yeah. know, ten feet, twenty feet forward in line. By the time we decided to leave, three and a half hours later, the line we had gone not even a block. We went from the edge of one block. This is how many people were there. All the little dots on this map are people. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna put a map up from where we started to where we ended. Here you go. Tell me that's not ridiculous. My big takeaway from this is that I can't support a brewery that treats its customers like that, especially on the, one of the coldest days of the year, the coldest weekends of the year. I mean, we're at triple crossing right now, as you can probably see in the background. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they can see that. We're definitely there. And you know what? We walked in there. How long have we been here? Like an hour. Less than an less hour. Less than an hour. We got 50 minutes. We got fed. We got pizza. We got beers. We got cans to go. You know, maybe, maybe we're just really old or maybe the hype train isn't all as cracked up to be with the veil. Yeah. Just saying, man, we'll talk more about the veil later, but for now, not too enthused by their performance on this event. We're going to the next brewery. Where are we going? Hardywood. Hardywood. This should be nice. Mm. So yeah, we're a little bit tipsy. We're a little bit, you know, full from the food. This is gonna be a good day. Let's proceed. Let's go. Yeah, but honestly, it's all the same. Oh snap! We just got to Hardywood. Check this out. So we got to the hotel, and we're tired. I'm tired. And hungry. I'm hungry. We went to Kindred Spirit, though, after we went to Hardywood. So yeah, we didn't film a lot. But we went to Hardywood, we went to Kindred Spirit, we're doing a brew review at Kindred Spirit soon, which is cool. Um, and uh, we're going to go to The Answer and eat some, some delicious Vietnamese food. Yeah. And probably grab some beers, and um, I'm gonna come back here. Anyway, I'm hungry. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. See ya. All right. So it's been a while since we've updated anything. We got pretty smashed up last night at the answer. We had some awesome beer, though. It was, I mean, it was awesome. Yeah. All that beer was super killer. That's a place I could recommend. Um, but not only do they have their own beer, but they have guest beers so a whole tap list of like crazy stuff from the west coast that you'll never see here so now we just got out of the final gravity and eh, I don't know I had the session IPA I gotta be real um, no body really fizzy really piney you know citrusy smells but it didn't really have any body to it to round it out so I don't know kind of disappointing and then a couple other tasters of some beers and I really wasn't super into anyway so anyways now we're going to uh, center of the universe and we are have already been here so we know of this place and um, yeah I'm pretty excited to go here because they got some good beer they got some pinball machines it's a good time every time yeah, I'll take a little video inside probably because it's just a cool looking place. Anyways, uh, we have just arrived to Lev's Park and I'll grab a quick nicotine break and then uh, we'll update later. Okay. What's up? Sorry, we didn't get any footage of um, the place, but we saw that there was a ton of traffic on the highway going back home, so we decided to call it and 
real quick, rush out of there, finish our beers, and get on the road so we can pick up our dog. The last clip that we shoot will probably be a beer haul video. If you will see something that interests you, you can leave a comment, say, hey, that particular beer, I'd love to see a review on that. That'd be cool. So, yeah. Anyway, see ya. As promised, we have a can haul. You guys get to decide what, if anything, we're gonna review next on our can review. So we've got the uh, Answer Zima. That's a, uh, what is this? A 6% IPA, I think, and then Mouth Hug. 100% double, uh, Citra Double IPA, 8%. Final Gravity, Chalk yep. Full of Eagles, Cloak Full of Eagles, sorry. Double IPA, 8%. We got Kindred Spirit Orange Dream. Uh, we're definitely gonna do this. This is like an orange creamsicle uh, beer, which I think would be pretty good. Um, Triple Crossing Infinite Reflections, 10%. I think this is a double IPA. Nope, Imperial Stout, sorry. Um, we got Sight Lines from Triple Crossing. This is a 6% uh, IPA. I think we had that, not 100%. We got the Veil. Not sure what this is, to be honest. One of these limited release beers. This is like the super limited something or another. Um, but it's it's the veil, so people are probably gonna wanna see that. Uh, Hardywood, Wesley the Label Lady, 7.5% uh, New England style IPA. Um, we've got some more Leslie. Uh, Planetary, double IPA, dry hop with Galaxy, obviously. And uh, Hardy Woods Sun Crush Tangerine. What is this? It's a tangerine ale. So it's like a effervescent ale, gluten reduced. I don't know. This one might be interesting. I love oranges and tangerines, so I picked it up. But I don't know. I mean, it doesn't. I'm not sure. So we'll see. That might be a contender too. We've also got a couple things over here. We've got the uh, three notched no veto. We've got the sunless suns out hops out, which obviously we've already done that. Um, we've got the three notched APA goes to the forty third. So that's a American Pale Ale, um, five five point one percent, five and a half, five five point one. Um, so those are there too. And we've also got some. Specialty stuff that we picked up. We got the Goose Island, the Goose Island uh, one, the Bourbon County. This is a super in-demand beer. All the beer nerds are all over this, this thing every year. We got the Gingerbread Stout, obviously. Yep, you probably saw that Founders KBS in there but we've also got the cbs Ooh, we got a couple of these guys one of them i think is from a few years ago um what else do we got two goose islands okay and down here we've got a stone whatever that one is the exotic exocavesa exocavesa something like that I don't know what that is. We've got this crazy Rochefort Trappist Ale. Um, it's a Belgian ale. This is uh, an 11.3% Trappist Ale. So that would be, I don't know, super crazy. We've got another CBS in there. I think that's the one that's older, the vintage. Um, that's wine. I'm not interested in that. This is actually the wine that uh, that they gave us when I proposed to Sandra um, like over a year ago. They gave us this. So, I don't know. We'll see when we're going to open that. But definitely not on the channel. Well, maybe on the channel. I don't know. Um, what else? What else? We've got... Is this main beer? Yeah, it's a main beer company beer. Uh, another one. India Pale Ale. Ooh, it says drink fresh. This is a 7% something or another. 7% India Pale Ale. Okay. So we might do that. Uh, we've got another gingerbread. What? Got two of them? I guess we have two of these. Okay. So yeah, we might do that. And then we've got an interesting one here. This is a Fairwinds Ghost of the Mariner. We got this a little while ago. It's a stout aged in bourbon barrels. 
you know, because everybody's doing that these days. Bottle 12, 12, 17. So that's a pretty vintagey. It's almost a year old. And then, um, I don't know, what's this? What the hell is this? Potion of Healing. Oh, a Joy Theory. Yeah, I remember this one now. Uh, so this one's a 6.66%. I really want to do like a death metal review on this one. That would be friggin' cool. Usually it's like real death metal-y kind of like post-apocalyptic, you know, styles. But this one is not like that for some reason. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's the haul. So let me know what you guys want to see and we'll, we'll go ahead and do that next. All right, cool. See you later. Thanks for tuning in.